and coming to university in California, in Santa Barbara, uh, on Friday, to a commencement ceremony. And I learned in commencement ceremonies that I have been invited the meaning of the word commencement. And of course, immediate reaction is to say, why when you're ending a stage in your life, you call the ceremony of graduation commencement? It is really because you're commencing, you're starting a new life. And that's the opportunity that we have <coughs> every day to commence again. If we have purpose, we do have performance. And if we have performance, then we're going to be doing good things in this world. And we're going to be enriching ourselves. And we will be having the happiness that we don't find in some other place. I have the opportunity to meet this organization that invited me now. I have the opportunity to read now the philosophy of Mr. Bulen and uh, the exercise that we're doing here today. The exercise we did yesterday in San Antonio with the Turkish Chamber of Commerce, Texas 30 Chamber of Commerce. It's an exercise that goes on the right path. Yesterday they were present, the Hispanic Chamber the Asian Chamber, the Turkish Chamber, and many people from different nationalities and origins. So we have huge amount of micro effort. All of them legitimate, all of them of high strategic importance. What we have to do now is to connect was a micro effort into a micro well directed effort. And that's the challenge of today. Because leaders are everywhere, ideas are everywhere, but performance many times is not there. And more than performance, that united effort towards common dreams and common objectives. So we need to macro integrate the micro effort that we are all doing. And this takes me to this nation, to the neighbor down south, Mexico, and to the neighbor of North, Canada. We decided to partner about 12, 13, maybe 14 years ago now. And it was a visionary uh, strategy to put together that trade agreement. And it has worked pretty well for all three of us. Sometimes, some people, or some decision-making circles, do not have that recognition. <laughs> but for instance, Mexico is as solid as a partner to the United States. States than anybody else. Mexico by itself buys more products and services, imports more products and services from this nation than what Italy, France, Germany, and Britain do together. We buy from this nation over 250 billion US dollars worth of computers cellular telephones, tires, washing machines, whatever you name it, that we import. That means a lot of jobs to U.S. citizens. It means hundreds of thousands of jobs to U.S. citizens. So we do play a strategic role in this partnership that we have. I think that we're being missighted not to build a more aggressive future for NAFTA and to deepen this partnership that we decided to build. We must have a very strong respect for each other and we must understand that today's world, nobody by itself can 
do as much as you can do it together with others. And this is why the world is conforming itself by blocks, blocks of nations. Look at Europe. Look at East Europe. Look at the progress those nations have made. Look at Turkey now, how it's speeding up its development, swinging fast on economic growth and extending its influence in the region. That nation's aspiration of belonging to the European nation, the European Union, is moving heart and soul, is moving energy and spirit to build up faster so that they can join, join the Union. And see the results that Portugal had, that Spain had, that Greece had, that Ireland had. When Ireland joined the Union, Ireland, the teeny small nation, had a per capita income of less than 3,000 US dollars a year per capita. Today, Ireland enjoys a per capita well over 40,000 US dollars for each of their citizens. And it's as large that per capita as this nation. And it's larger than Germany's, France, or Britain's per capita. So the ingredients of solidarity, the ingredients of uni uniting effort, the ingredients, the ingredients of moving by values your economy or building your nation is much higher advantage than anybody, anything else. So we need to reawaken NAFTA. We need to have a new vision for NAFTA in these next coming years. Right now, the three leaders are busy doing something else and not paying attention to the challenge of the East. We can prevent that shift of power, finance, and leadership to the East if we work together if we work with Pakistan. This is the largest consumer bloc in the world, United States, Mexico, and Canada. This is the most productive and the largest manufacturing place in the world up to today. But especially is the leadership based on principles based on the dream of the founding father. So NAFTA is a key issue that we must pursue. And then we have the relationship between Mexico and the United States, which everybody speaks about today. And we have to bring to that relationship not only our partnership that we have built in the economic side, on the trading side, or not, but we also have to bring in values there. Because number one, when you see the cause of your neighbor burning, you better do something about it. And everybody says, what happened to Mexico? What are these crazy Mexicans doing today? I mean, why are they killing each other? It's difficult to answer, but I have an opinion on that. We just happen to be in between. Mexico is not a drug-producing nation. The drug is produced down south in Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia, and other. Mexico is not an important consumer of drugs nation. I mean, we are one, less than one percent of the drug consumed in this nation. So we're not consumers of drugs. And yet, we're in this mammoth, huge problem. And everybody demanding that it has to be solved. And yes, we have to find the ideas to solve this problem because it's killing ourselves. It's not only killing our people, we're not only paying the low price for it, but we're paying the economic growth price. We're paying the loss of tourism. We're paying the loss of foreign investment. We're paying the price of losing our planning, our business community now moving up here. Everywhere, San Antonio, Houston, San Diego. And they have an incentive 
Now I heard that he gave me half a million dollars to invest here. 